What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Dragon Ball Network, and today we're going to be covering Key. I realize that a considerable size of the community still has difficulty understanding exactly what Key is, and how it's a key factor throughout all of these power scaling debates. Now during an interview, Toriyama described Key as, the concept of course includes such spiritual powers as energy, or Genki, courage, or Yuki, and right-mindedness or Shoki. No matter how much you train, there are limits to physical strength, and the only way to overcome that is through Ki. I think Goku was able to approach the mightiest warriors in the universe through strengthening his Ki. So let's start off with Genki. Now Genki is the most common and least complicated aspect to explain, as this energy is physically seen through all Ki attacks. Like the Big Bang attack, Death Beam, and especially in the Spirit Bomb or the Genki Dama. In terms of the dragon capable of controlling it, manipulating it, and drawing it forward, Gohan would introduce this topic to Videl during Dragon Ball Z's episode 207. Now next we're going to cover the spiritual aspect of Yuki. Yuki is known as the empty energy or current. For instance, courageous people stand up and fight in spite of their own fear, exhaustion, or even running on an empty Genki tank. If you have ever attended any sports games and the crowd begins to cheer for its team, their encouragement can positively reflect on the players. Yuki energy, unlike Genki, is not something we can see with our own eyes, yet it's believed to be there. And if you could measure Yuki, it wouldn't end in the amount of courage one has. Yuki is based on the fear of the individual as well. Like if someone fears another, they would be losing Yuki in turn and consequently, a considerable amount of power. Like during the Namek arc, when Zarbon fought Vegeta, Zarbon would continue to lose his Yuki, so he could only output two-thirds of his total power. This would give Vegeta the fatal advantage. Lastly, there's right-mindedness energy, or called Shoki. It's based on the calm state and the right mind. But what does that even mean? Let's recall back to another old fight, Nappa vs. Goat. During their battle, Nappa consistently kept losing control of his emotions, and ultimately, himself. Nappa's attacks were wild and violent, lacking any concentration or strategy. At the end, Nappa would lose by having his back Kaio snap. So now the next time you find yourself in yet another power scaling debate, make sure you incorporate all three faces of Ki, and not only the one that you think you can see, or in most cases, the only one that makes sense. I'll be covering and thoroughly explaining all types of key found in Dragon Ball and its capabilities in part 2. So 